Mohimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences, MOHAS. So it is worthwhile to initiate a university-wide dissemination as a platform of sharing research findings. MOHAS decided to disseminate the findings uh, to the public through this channel, a university-wide dissemination, in order to bring together the researchers at MOHAS, the scientists at MOHAS, the academicians at MOHAS, with their counterparts in the ministry, implementing partners and everyone that who is working uh, address the challenges of health of the people in Tanzania. Another important reason was to actually increase the visibility of the university to Tanzania and globally, and uh, to increase the interactions between the scientists within the university and the scientists within Tanzania and their collaborating partners. Another important reason was to address the national health issues as you well understand that uh, we are conducting research of uh, public health importance in Tanzania and therefore disseminating these findings can ultimately address the core challenges that the country is having. And the last but not least is actually to influence the policy that is governing addressing challenges uh, of the Tanzanians in Tanzania at the region level and uh, in collaboration with partners at the global level. The first university-wide dissemination took place on 26 of September 2018 at Muhas main campus with a theme of comprehensive management of people addicted to heroin, implication for programs and policies. It was a remarkable event which officially launched by the Deputy Minister for Health, Community Development, Gender, Elderly and Children, Honorable Dr. Faustin Nungulile. I just want to acknowledge that we have noted a very big achievement. We as government, we are still working together with you. The doors are so open to welcome you to discuss how we can continue to improve the mental health services. The Ministry of Health determined to strengthen and prioritize mental health services. As you all know, the definition of health by WHO focuses on physical, mental, and social well-being. So this event should be continuous effort. We as government, we will give you endless support. So make sure you active involve us in the activity. One of the interesting parts of the event was a keynote address from Dr. Jesse Mwambo, a senior researcher with wide range of experiences on comprehensive management of people addicted to heroin. When we look at people who use drugs, we look at the extreme and we forget that we need to look at the middle where all the problems start emerging. So we look at the consequences, the bad things that happen, while we have people who are very well preserved as yet, who have uh, issues with their drug using behavior that we need to be addressing ourselves to. The first university-wide dissemination was so successful and an outstanding event. The activity was very successful. We could bring together a number of policymakers, including uh, the Deputy Minister of Health, Community Development, Gender, Elder and Children, Honorable Faustin Dugulile. Another important success was to see uh, how our research at MOAS has been able to influence changes in the policy, changes in the implementation, and changes in the lives of the people. For example, establishment of uh, care and treatment facilities for people with addiction, uh, such as methadone clinics at Muhas, at Temeke, Mwananyamala, and in other big cities that the ministry is actually uh, doing at this point in time. However, the university-wide dissemination was very successful, but was planned to be a yearly continuous event. But looking at the future, uh, this kind of event, we hope that uh, they can be absorbed into the, into the university's uh, almanac, as we have just started, for sustainability of this kind of, uh, of, of activities. I should take also this opportunity to thank everyone who made this possible. 
uh, starting with the university management, Professor Andrea Pembe, the vice chancellor, Professor uh, Kamuhabwa, the deputy vice chancellor responsible for research, academics, and consultancy, the directorate of research and publication, uh, the administrators and the volunteers at the, at, at the directorate, and Dr. Jesse Mbwambo and the team that worked tirelessly to make this uh, activity happening, the media people and uh, the rest of the people that attended from the university, I mean the faculty, the students and uh, the professors. But most importantly, I would like to thank uh, our, our collaborators uh, for making this happening, uh, the Embassy of Sweden, uh, and then uh, the implementing partners uh, such as USAID, uh, Drug Enforcement uh, Agency, uh, and other uh, implementing partners who attended. Last but not least, the Minister of Health for ensuring that they are with us to make sure that uh, this event is successful. And for the Deputy Minister of Health, uh, Honorable Ndugulile, for making it to the event personally and deliver the speech that we so much needed. It is very crucial for MOHAS to continue collaborate with stakeholders in doing research and communicate better the research results. This is also a good opportunity to announce that uh, there will be another uh, university-wide dissemination and this one will happen in January. So the last Wednesday of, of January, uh, which will be the 30th of January, we are going to conduct the same event but in different uh, research group and this will be malaria. And therefore, in this specific event, we will be discussing uh, the research uh, that are conducted in Moors and how the university is in line with the national policy or the national ambitious plan to end malaria in Tanzania. So uh, you're all welcome to this event and be sure that you're going to get more and more and more of similar events in the future. Thank you very much.